I think the challenges in Victoria are the same challenges that every other major city across the country is facing. Uh, rising income inequality, not enough mental health and addiction supports, and simply just not enough housing and not enough affordable housing. So I don't actually think Victoria is unique in any way, uh, and all cities are facing the same challenges. I think um, at our root as humans, um, we want connection, we want a sense of belonging, and we really can understand, I think, that we, we're all in this together. So changing the narrative about that homeless person over there, that's someone's mother, it's someone's sister, it's someone's father, and I think when people can connect on a human-to-human -human level, uh, some of that stigma starts to fade. I think bringing people together is easy once they see the benefits of housing. So there is often a lot of opposition to a new affordable housing project that's going in. Once it's built, it blends in seamlessly for the most part. Uh, and then people are like, oh, why did I oppose that in the first place? Housing is important, climate change is important, creating prosperity is important. And my firm belief is that everybody needs a good home, a good job, and a sustainable community. So those three things knitted together, I think, are the basket of my priorities. I think what, what worries me most is notwithstanding what I said earlier about we're all in this together uh, is, is a sense of polarization and division and if we're going to solve the wickedest challenges that we're facing and homelessness is certainly one of them we have to kind of leave the polarization aside and, and find a way to come together so that's the, the and not just in Victoria but polarization kind of globally it's uh, that's what keeps me up at night how can we be better humans